Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about whatever I feel like talking about because it's my channel and not yours. I don't have much to show you in the way of visuals, but I want to talk about ghosts and feeling energies from people that have passed before us and, you know, thinking that you're communicating with someone who is gone, who's passed over, passed away. Where did they go? If we follow the, the laws of thermodynamics and um, everything else in the, that says the laws of the universe are correct, it's that energy cannot be destroyed. It can change, correct? Now, I'm a big fan of Star Trek. If you follow me, you know I'll bring up the Star Trek uh, visual every once in a while. And this is in Star Trek Discovery, which is new to me. I hadn't seen it before. Great show. Anyway... The sun creature person has been living in a simulated environment, a holographic, you know, how they have their hollow suites in the Star Trek and Deep Space Nine series, where they go into this hollow suite and, and it's just it's just like they're in a real place and a real time and everything is real and um, feels real, looks real, smells real. They can travel, you know. They're only in a, in a small room, but yet they, it seems that they can walk across a valley or a planet or anything. So um, the young girl in this instance, um, her boyfriend died. Now, in this scene, we're going to see where she arrives at this place, and it's a hollow suite, so to speak. And... The other people who are alive can see him, and no one could see him before. Let's just watch it for a second. So you know what I'm talking about. All radiation is getting in. Is out. Before he could panic. Show him there. Sorry about that. All right, here she is. What are you doing? Um, I brought medicine. How? I hit it in my mouth. We heard you on board, so I knew I'd be landing at Hollow. What happened to Discovery? Has Osiris gone? Are they here? Is Paul okay? I, I don't know. I didn't exactly ask. Now, in earlier episodes, um, she can see her deceased boyfriend, and no one else can. Now, watch what happens. I can't believe you did this. You only have to do something. Please hear you. No, but they will buy us some time. We found them. Yeah, but I'm all too soon. Great. You, you, you see me. The hollow. He recognizes you. Now, now think about this. We can't see a lot of things that are out of our visual spectrum. Like infrared light and ultraviolet light. What if the past on people in our lives are just in a different spectrum of light that we cannot see and a different frequency that we cannot hear? Hi. What if the loved ones that we lost, that we long to see so badly, are just out of our light spectrum and our sound spectrum. I, for one, want to break that barrier. I wish that we had this technology that could find their energies because I'm, I'm sure that I feel their energies. What about you? I think this is very real, and I, I think that it is going to someday in the future boil down to science. And I think it would be a wonderful thing if we could just tune into those other frequencies that we cannot see in here right now. Imagine our reunions. Hi. You do have kind eyes. I told you. Okay. You see it? This is a, a holographic um, simulation and if that holographic projector can see him, you know, to me, Star Trek has been very much predictive programming. 
So if I'm seeing this now, I'm pretty sure it exists already. That make me crazy. I don't know. How do you feel about it? <laughs>